Hey everyone, we are back with another social media app video. In this video, we will add the ability to upload multiple images. To do this, we will use a new Django form field, we will update our models to allow us to have multiple images, and we will need to update our views and templates to handle showing multiple images. This shouldn't be as difficult as some other things we've done, but this is just one of many ways we could handle this. This is definitely a spot where using a JavaScript front end like React would be useful to handle this in a little more interactive way, I guess. But since we're not currently using that, we will handle everything through Django Forms. Let's go ahead and get started by updating our models.py. Okay, so first things first, let's go into our text editor and let's open up inside of our social app, our models.py file. And so right now we have this image field right here. And that only lets us store one image. There's no array or list model field in Django. And so the best way to handle multiple would be something like a foreign key or some many to many field like we did down here, like we did for likes and dislikes. And so we'll do the same thing for our image. We'll create a new image class that holds the image. And we'll have a many to many field set on there. Where we can store as many images as we want within that field. So let's go ahead down here at the bottom. Let's create an image class to start with. So we'll do a class image. And this will inherit from models.model. And this will only have one field. And this field's gonna be the exact same what we have up here. It's gonna be an image field that stores an image. So we'll go ahead and just cut this out here from our post, come down to our image, and paste it right there. Now back up here, we can go ahead and store as many of these image objects that we create with this class inside of our model post. So we can go ahead and create another image field here. This will be models dot many to many field. And now inside of here, first we pass in the class we're gonna use. In this case, it'll be image, the class we just created. And then we'll go ahead and pass in blank equals true to allow it to be empty if we don't want it, if we don't have any images on there. And so in case this isn't clear, we're creating a class of image. We'll create as many copies of this class, we'll instantiate as many copies of this class as we need for as many images that we have. So every image will loop through and we'll create an image class or an image, in, I should say an instance of that class where we store the image inside of this image field. And then we'll store all of those images together in this made to many field up here on the post. And then we can access the image by going to image dot image that could be called this field dot URL will give us this URL to this image uh, that we uploaded. Hopefully that makes sense. With those changes made, we need to go ahead and migrate those changes to the database. So we'll open up our terminal, we'll stop the server, and we'll run a python3 manage.py make migrations first. Then we'll go ahead and run a python3 manage.py migrate to migrate those changes over. Oh, we gotta make sure we save this file first. That's why it's not taking anything. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. Make migrations should add the all the image stuff there, and then we can go ahead and run migrate to migrate those changes over. There we go. Okay, so now with that done, our model should be all set and ready to go. Now that we have the model set up, we need to go ahead and update our post form. So if we go to our forms.py, we have a post form right here, and right now what this has here, we have an image with an image field, and then down our meta class, we're passing in this in the fields here, body and image. So the first thing we're gonna do, we need to update this image uh, field here to handle multiple images. And so to do this, we can still have an image field. We wanna keep that the same. We wanna add some more things inside of the uh, arguments here. So down here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on separate lines just to keep it a little more compact, easy to read. Above the required, we'll put, we'll put below, it doesn't really matter. We'll put it below, so we'll put a comma and we'll put widget equals and in here we can pass in a different form widget. And you can go on Django's documentation and read up all different types of widgets there are. One of them that they have here is a clearable file input, which allows you to uh, clear the images all out. So if we had multiple, we want to clear them all out, we could clear them out with the clearable file input uh, widget. And so I want to use that here because it makes sense, I think, to have that option available as well. We can access that by doing forms.clearable file input. And we can pass in some arguments here. In this case, we want to pass in a multiple argument. And so in HTML5, they have a multiple um, attribute you can pass in to a file uh, input. And what this will allow you to do is allow you to kind of like control select or shift select multiple images. 
And that's what we're going to do here to allow the user to upload multiple uh, images to the site. And so to add a attribute, we need to add first inside the arguments a TTRS and then equals a dictionary. And that dictionary will contain a string of the attribute. In this case, it's multiple and the value of it. In this case, there's no value to this attribute. It's just either there or not there. And so we can pass in true just to add it to the, the, uh, uh, the input itself. And then with that done, that should be it for our image field. That should allow us to have multiple images now being uploaded to that field. Now, there's one more thing we need to change here. Instead of a post form, it's a model form. You can see because we're inheriting up here. There's one thing we need to change with how we're passing this data into the fields. By default, if whatever fields we pass in here, it will try to save automatically. But these images won't save correctly until we create a new image class using this new class down here we created. So we had to create this class manually. And because we had to do that manually in our view, I don't want this to save automatically in our from our form. So I can remove this from the fields array here, the fields list here. And so only the body text itself will save automatically. And that means we need to handle this part um, ourselves manually inside of our views.py. So with that done, let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll go into our views.py. We'll come down, uh, it's up here actually, it's being our post list view, the post method, where we are creating a new form here. So we're creating our form here, passing our data in, checking if it's valid. If it is, we're saving the form, adding the author, and we're saving the post. So right here, we're saving the form, but since we're only saving the, uh, where is it? Only the saving the body, we need to add some, some logic here for the image. So the first thing we'll do is we'll grab all the images. And we'll do this below the save. Uh, if there's a better way to do this, let me know. This is the best way I could find. We need to save the post first so we have access to the ID before we can do anything with the images. So we're gonna save it here, we'll add the images, and we'll save it again. Uh, there might be a better way to do that. I have not found that yet. If there is, if there is, let me know, and I can update it to that. But for now, we'll do it this way. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna loop through all of our images, or all our files we uploaded, create an image from that file, or an image class that we created in our models, save the image, and then add the image to the post. And then once we're all done with all of that, we'll save the post again. So to do this, we'll create a for loop first. We'll do a for f in files. But right now, files is not defined anywhere. So we need to go ahead and find that. I'll define that up here below our form. So we can get our files by doing files equals requests dot files dot get list. And then we can pass in into quotes inside of the arguments here, the name of the field. And so in our forms, name of the field is image. So we can pass in image here. And this will have a, a list of all our files. Now we can loop through them and do this. So for fm files, img equals image, and we'll pass an image equals f. And so in Python, this is how you create a new a new instance of a class. You put the name of the class and then quotes. You pass or then in parentheses you pass in any arguments. In this case, we'll set the image field equal to that file we're on currently. We'll then save the image. This is saving the image class or the instance of the class, and we'll go ahead and save it on the post. So we'll do a new post dot image dot add and we'll pass in img. And so this dot add method is available on many to many fields. So in this case, we're going to the post, we're going to the image field on the post model, and the dot add, since it's a many, many field, we can do that to add something to that field. And we want, in this case, we want to add the, the img object to that field. And we'll go through all the images, do all that, and once we're done, so outside of this for loop, do a new post dot save again to save this many many field information in the database as well. We go ahead and save that, and that should handle everything in our views that we need to handle. Now that we have all that handled, we should upload multiple images to the database, but there's no way to display them on the actual page yet. Because right now we're still just trying to display a single image. So this will need to change in a couple different places. Um, we'll need to change it inside of a few different templates, I guess. So we need to change our post list, our post detail, and our profile, because all have posts on them. So we'll do one by one. All the codes we print the same, though, so it shouldn't be much difference between them. I'll probably just copy it over to all the different templates. So let's just start on post list, I guess. And so there's a lot of different ways we can display images. Since we don't have any JavaScript front end, we could do some different JavaScript to handle showing different ones or creating some sort of slider or whatever else. Uh, I'm just going to show them in a grid for now. 
So I'll just create another row, another column, and we'll put them in their own kind of grid laid out above the text of the post. So inside of our post for loop, so right here is where we're listing out all of our posts. Come down a little further, we'll see if, if post.image, and we're showing our image. Since we have a many, many field, we want to do if post.image.count is greater than zero. So if we have more than one, if we have a post at all, if it's more than zero, we want to go ahead and show that post. And this dot count is just the same thing as len in Python to get the length of something. It's just getting the amount of elements inside of the list. Next thing we do, um, we're going to go ahead actually and just remove this for now because this is going to be changed. But next thing we do is we want to create a row. So for every, if we have posts here, we want to create a row to store the, the post. So div a class of row. And inside of this div here, we're going to go ahead and create a for loop. So we'll do same thing, Django template syntax with the races percent sign. So we'll do for img in post.image.all. And this dot all gets all the different posts all the different items inside of this main mini field and returns a list that we can iterate over so we can loop through it using the dot all. If you don't have that, you'll get an error. So to make sure that's in there. Uh, but now inside of this for image in post at all, we can go ahead and create a column and then display the post. So do a div of a class of column. And I'm going to go ahead and do it at just an MD dash four. We'll do a column dash XS dash 12. Uh, you can change that how you like it to be, but I'm going to keep it like that. Inside of this div here, I'm going to go ahead and show the image. So to create an image tag, src equals, and we'll do two, well, before we do that, we prefer our quotes, put some quotes, and then put two curly braces. And the two curly braces symbolize a variable in Django templates syntax. So we can do that there. And then inside of this variable, we can do img.image.url. So just to double check, make sure this is clear, this img is coming up here. Is going through each of the image models on this field here. So in our models, each of these instances we created show up here. And so to get the actual image, we need to do a dot image on that to get this field. So dot image dot URL gives us the URL to that actual image itself. And then next we'll go ahead and add a class of post image to the same one we had before. Right there. I'll we'll go ahead and close off this field. Now let's go ahead and close off our div close off our for loop and for and then we're going to close off the row as well and I think that should be it let's go ahead and save that let's go ahead and test this out and if it works we'll, we'll bring it over to our other files as well so let's jump into our browser here reload the page and it looks like we're getting an error uh, well, I didn't run the server yet. Make sure we run the server. I stopped it when we did the migrations, but there we go. Okay, now let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so now we want to add a post. We'll say hello or whatever. And we'll add images by control selecting multiple. And now you'll see here we have two files selected are showing up um, next to our image. So we know we've, we've got that set up correctly. We hit submit and we're getting an error here. Oh, I forgot to bring an image into our file our views looks like. So we'll jump into our text editor. We will come to the top of our views. Let's bring in our new image class. So from models import down here, I'll do image. So we'll save our post here and then we'll go ahead and submit this. And now, right now, I guess one thing we'll have to add though is since this is not since this is not uh, showing my own posts, we need to go to our profile to look at that. But right now we haven't shown those new images yet, so it's not gonna show up here yet. So let's go ahead and add that to our profile and then we'll test this out, make sure everything's working. So back in our text editor, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. So I'll copy this if tag down to the end if. Just copy that and we'll come into our profile.html. Find where we're putting the image right now, which should be right down here, looks like right here. So right here, we're putting our if push that image. I'm gonna place this text with the new text with the rows and columns. We'll save that. Now let's come back here and refresh the page. Perfect. So now you can see both images are showing up 
right next to each other in the, in the in a grid. If we had more, they'd keep going. Uh, probably one more here, and then it'd go to the next row. Like it handles automatically in Bootstrap. So we have everything showing now. Let's go ahead and add this code to our post detail as well, so we can see it when we actually click on a post. Because right now nothing's there. So down here we'll go down to our post uh, detail HTML. Come find where we're listing out our posts, which will be should be up here somewhere. Or we're not listing out, I guess. We're showing one, so it'd be right here. Okay, so our image will go below this if end if and above the post body. We'll paste that in right there, and we'll save that. Now we can go ahead and jump back into our browser here, reload the page, and there we go. These are kind of small on this page, and since we're only showing one post, I'm gonna go ahead and make these bigger. So let's go back into our text editor. Let's change this. So right now we have a column um, dash four. We can go maybe maybe six, maybe five or six. We'll start with six, see how that looks. Come back here, reload the page. That's a little better. You can make it bigger if you wanted to. I'm gonna stop there, so it has two per row right now. Uh, but, but you can make any changes to this that you want. Obviously, that's where I'm gonna keep it for this video. And that is really it. There's some more complicated features I'd like to add in the future from the suggestions I've get, been getting. Uh, but if there's anything else you want to see added, let me know. I'm going to make a few more videos at least in this on this project. Um, but that's really it for this video. So the code will be in the description below, as well as any links that are usually down there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.